Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pinky, I'm the pharmacist prescriber. Today I'm going to discuss about low back pain, assessing low back pain. In order to assess low back pain, you, all you need to remember is the three N's to begin with. One N is nasty back pain and this video is all about nasty back pain. What are the red flags and when the patient is likely, um, you know, need urgent referral. Another N is nerve root compression, which is basically sciatica or reticular pain. I'm going to make a separate video on that. Another one is non-specific low back pain. So let's discuss about nasty back pain, red flags, and why likely urgent referral is needed. Let's discuss about the nasty red flags. What are the nasty red flags? Trauma, unexplained weight loss, neurological symptoms. Neurological symptoms can be tremor, weakness, uh, seizures, blackouts, and um, partial complete paralysis, tingling, numbness, and progressive or new bladder or urinary incontinence like a patient won't have the you know control over the bowel and the bladder and also need to consider the age whether the patient is less than 20 years old more than 55 years old if there is any fever if there is it's an inflammatory pain if the patient has been using steroids like methylprednisolone or prednisolone if there is a history of cancer okay cancer such as prostate kidney thyroid, breast cancer. And obviously for neurological examination, you need to contact your clinicians to carry out a neurological examination. Now, what are the possible causes, okay, of this nasty pain? The possible causes can be fracture, trauma, osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is like weak, fragile bones then malignancy malignancy means like presence of a tumor then infection infection such as discitis discitis is like infection of the backbone spinal disc osteomyelitis osteomyelitis is like infection uh, swelling in the bone then we got like inflammatory back pain called equina called equina i'm gonna explain in much more detail it's very important to understand it's a very very classical side effect then spinal stenosis. Spinal stenosis means in the spinal cord we have a canal. That canal gets narrow and when the canal gets narrow there is like pressure on the spinal cord or nerves that go from spinal cord to muscles. So what are the actions that needs to be taken? The actions that needs to be taken so it will depend on the urgency will depend on the symptoms and suspected condition. Same day referral is required. Also, same day emergency or referral via uh, cancer, suspected cancer pathway. So these are all about the nasty back pain red flags. So we discussed about the red flags, then obviously um, examination required, what are the possible causes and the action that needs to be taken. Now I'm going to discuss in detail about the acute spinal cord compression. What it, does that mean? So this is our spinal cord right at the back we got the spinal cord. So in this spinal cord what happens there is a compression there is a pressure. This pressure can be due to trauma, cancer, abscess. Abscess is like painful collection of like pus caused by bacteria. Hematoma, hematoma means like injury damages the veins and the arteries. It's like a band like pain. Okay, it's like a band like pain. So the pain starts like from the backbone like a band. Then worsening, like it worsens when you lie down flat, marked sleep disturbance, you won't be able to sleep at night. Gait disturbance, gait means like persons like um, pattern of walking each changes disturbance or like and their legs will be very very heavy everything goes down the hill like weakness reduced tone um, you can feel pressure on the you know bottom of your feet 
reduced absence of reflexes like responding to any kind of stimulus is reduced and there will be in um, new onset of urinary incontinence or retention like urination will be a problem okay so these are the classical symptoms of acute spinal cord compression now what are, what is the action that needs to be taken the patient needs to be referred immediately for CT or MRI scan and neurological assessment. So these are this is this is this is this is a kind of a red flag, acute spinal cord compression. Now I'm going to discuss about corda equina. Corda equina is a classical red flag. Okay, it's a classical red flag of lower back pain and patient needs to be referred Im immediately for CT or MRI scan or neurological assessment to the hospital. Now what is corda equina? Corda equina is like reduced sensation okay or altered saddle sensation. What is saddle? Saddle is like where the bum, the bum and the anus as patients lose the sensation in their bum and the anus. Okay, there is like pins, needles, tingling feelings, difficulty delay in opening bladder, bowels, change in erection, vaginal sensation, and everything is numb in the, in the you know, buttock, in the anus, everything is numb. Reduced anal tone, incontinence. Now, incontinence, there is like, you know, people go into retention first, urinary retention, patient can't urinate. Then there is overflow and uh, there is an overall weakness in the buttock region okay and it, again everything goes down this is a classical red flag symptom of lower back pain now in lower back pain how you're going to understand that there is an infection so if there is an infection, as I discussed about discitis, um, immunosuppression, osteomyelitis, abscess, um, intravenous drug users, then long-term use of steroids, um, immunosuppression, past medical history of tuberculosis or recent surgery, systemic, in systemic infection, there will be like fever and uh, patient will generally feel very, very tired an increasing um, back pain which is not getting any better and it gets worse by straining and uh, and there will be neurological symptoms as well in this when you're gonna suspect that it can be an infection then the patient needs to be referred urgently to the hospital now we are going to discuss about trauma in trauma I'm going to discuss about some signs and symptoms and the action which needs to be taken is refer the patient immediately via an ambulance to the hospital. So high risk injury, fall from a height of 3 meter, high speed roll on like motor collision, falling onto feet, um, buttocks, bicycle horse riding collision, known or at high risk of osteoporosis neurological signs and symptoms which have already discussed new deformity spinal pain on coughing or sneezing and the pain or abnormal neurology when you know you're when you're moving and if this happens you need to stop moving immediately so if a patient has got these symptoms the patient needs to be sent to the hospital immediately via an ambulance i would also like to discuss about inflammatory back pain now, when are you going to suspect it's an inflammatory back pain? You're going to suspect inflammatory back pain if it is more than three months um, and the patient is like less than 45 years old with four or more criteria. So what are the criteria? Basically, the onset is before 35 years. Uh, waking up in the second half of the night with symptoms, buttock pain, improvement with movement improvement with 48 uh, improvement like within 48 hours of taking anti-inflammatories anti-inflammatories like nsaid such as ibuprofen naproxen diclofenac and if there is a first degree relative with spondyloarthritis current or past arthritis uh, pain inflammation and insertion of the tendons okay uh, current or past psoriasis and uh, if more or four or more criteria 
then we need to refer the patient to a rheumatologist. Now, if it is three or more criteria, we need to run a blood test, which is called HLA um, B27 test. If posit positive, we need to refer the patient to a rheumatologist. If less than three symptoms, we, I need to advise the patient to book an appointment if there is any more new symptoms uh, in the future. And if, if particularly if the patient has got um, past or current history of inflammatory bowel disease, psoriasis or uvitis. Uvitis is like a form of eye inflammation. So that's all about lower back pain. Um, it, it's more about the acute nasty red flags which I have discussed. Okay and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate your time. Do like, share and subscribe my channel. Clinical Pharmacist Practitioner Pinky, my Facebook page, Clinical Pharmacist Practitioner Prescriber Pinky, follow me on Twitter and um, Instagram. Thanks a lot, bye for now. And don't forget, if you have any questions, put in the comment section below. All right then, bye.